Hey guys and uh, welcome to another video session and um, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing and what I'm going to be doing, this is actually a special request so since I launched the previous um, motion detection cute cap I had actually got a request where somebody was asking about um, dimming so um, so I've decided to create one uh, from scratch. So what this does is it's like a twin dim system. Uh, but before I go on to that, I just want to show you where everything is in the shop. So once you go into YorkshireAutomation.uk, so once you're on the home page, um, um, all you have to do is just click on the shop and quick apps and scenes and that will come and bring up all the quick apps that i've got um on here so far or scenes etc um as you can see most of these are for home center three whereas there's an odd few for the home center two okay um so and the latest one is this uh, gradual motion for uh quick app for home center three so it looks something like this, but I'm going to explain this more um, from the home center itself direct. So um, before I go on to that, I'd just like to say, don't forget the bell button and subscription buttons, etc. Make sure you tick them and it just helps to my channel to grow as well, um, which is uh, what we want. And hopefully then I can carry on bringing out some more guides and videos, etc. Um, if you are, any of you want to see anything in particular, any guide um, or a, a product, if I've got it, I'll be able to do a, uh, a, sesh, a, sesh, a session on that product for you. So, but in the meantime, uh, what we'll do is we'll talk about this uh, quick app. So as per normal, click on settings, devices, and then upload the QA. I've named it gradual motion. Um, I couldn't think of a, another name, but again, as what I've introduced on this one is the ability to turn it on and off. So right now this motion is in the off position and therefore it won't work. No motion detection, no timings. But as soon as you turn it on, that's all when the timers kick in and det motion detection works. Okay, so let's go into the quick app itself. So, edit and preview. So first of all, as usual, let's start with the variables. There's only two things you need to change, the first and the second. So you need to input the ID of the light and input the ID of the sensor. Once you've done that, that's all there is to do it and the rest you don't need to do. Oh, sorry, one thing there is, this one, motion. Remember what I said this earlier on, if you install this after your initial time, so let's go back to here. So right now it is 17.31 and my current on time is 21.49. So I'm not expecting this to, to be on, but where depending on where you are in the world, depending on what time you are installing this quick app, will determine you know whether you want this to work straight away or not. So in my case scenario, it's before time, so I can leave this motion variable switch to off. However, if I was installing this after 9.49, 21.49, I would then have to just click on this pencil icon and change that to on to you know give it a, a manual start okay but you only have to do that when you install it after that the full process is automated okay right now gradual motion light so let's start at the top so once you've inputted the sensor and the light we've got our information that we need now we've got two dimming levels we have the high level and the dimmed level so the high level I've set on this particular example to 65% and the dim level to 20%. What that means is um, when motion is initially detected, 
the light will turn on at the higher level of 65%. After a certain amount of time, which I'll come on to in a second, um, it will dim down to 20%. If motion is redetected, it'll jump back to 65%. And then again, with the same amount of time, it'll go down to 20% before actually switching off. Okay. And again, just using these little arrows here, you can increase and decrease the levels. Remember, it's from uh, zero, well, zero is zero, as in off. It's between one and 99, you can set. Second part, on time and off time. Again, this is very similar to all my other previous ones, is when you want motion detection to start and when you want motion detection to end. And of course, this is still based on sunset time and based on sunrise times. So as you can see here, I think it's roughly just a few minutes after sunset and uh, a few minutes before sunrise. So you can just adjust these to whatever time frame you wished. This part, durations. So this is how you determine how long the light stays on at the higher level and how long it stays on at the lower level. So right now I have this total duration of 40 seconds. 30 at high level and 10 at low level, but you can always increase and decrease just by using these arrows here as before. Okay. Remember, this is also when motion has stopped. So if you've activated motion, high level 65%, 34 seconds at high level, and then further 13 seconds at low level. But if motion is redetected, then it goes back to high level and continues that way before dimming down and then switching off completely. Um, I hope this helps the, uh, the client who originally asked for it. And, uh, and I thought, right, everybody else will can benefit from this too. So um, as usual, it's gonna be available in my shop from now, priced at my usual, just five pounds. And you can actually use this as many times as needed. Just input the, the variable for the light and input the variable for the sensor and that's it okay um and that's all it is it's just a short video and thank you all for watching don't forget hit the like button if you like the video subscribe and any further requests just send a send a message to me by email or on the comments so thank you all for watching and uh, goodbye for now